Welcome to the Personal Perseverance Project. My name is David Atkins, retired New York State trooper, million dollar direct sales, international business earner, author, and keynote motivational speaker, where each week I come here to help you break through your excuses so you can live a life up to your fullest potential. Let the project begin. That is my mindset. I operate on a level of excellence and you guys need to wake up every single day and you need to operate on a level of excellence and create your masterpiece. What's up, my friends? Welcome to this episode of the Personal Perseverance Project. Happy July, July 2024. This episode is dropping on July 1st, 2024. And I'm excited. Let's, Let's dive right into this episode. I think this is something that that a lot of people don't grasp. I think this is something that early on I struggled with early on when I started building my network marketing business. And I'm going to start off and say this. Why are you trying to do it alone? Why are you trying to grow, whether it is in, say, your health and fitness, or you have a business that you're starting, or you're in a new career, or maybe you're in a career you've been in for a while that you would like to get promoted, you'd like to earn more, you'd like to improve in your life. But my question to you is, why are you trying to do it alone? Because there's something that was once shared with me, and this is kind of going to get into what we're going to talk about today, and that is that success leaves clues. Let me say that again. Success leaves clues. So if there's people out there that have accomplished or succeeded in the thing or role or whatever or business, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or aspire to be, then why are you out there trying to figure it out by yourself? Because I can tell you, you may have a great work ethic. You may be a driven person. You may be somebody that's very innovative. You may be very intelligent. You may be very creative. But there is nobody in this world right now, no matter how successful they are, that did it by themselves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was Steve Jobs because he had a team of people, Elon Musk, billionaires today, Bill Gates, whoever whoever you want to bring up, right? There is nobody that did it by themselves. They either have a team of people because they need the right people to help them or they have studied and learned from others because success leaves clues. And that's like the first, that's like the title probably of this podcast is success leaves clues. So why are you trying to do it by yourself? And I kind of want to go over five main points I want you to think about. And I have one bonus at the end, but five main points to help you succeed faster, to help you reach that goal faster, to achieve more than you ever could have imagined quicker, or just the fact that you will achieve more than you ever could have imagined because you were willing to not try to do it by yourself. And I'll tell you right now, one of the biggest things, the biggest thing that's holding you back from achieving that next level of success is you. I'll say that again. The number one thing that's holding you back from getting to the next level in whatever it is, because this applies to everything, is you. Because whether you're stubborn, whether you're just trying to figure out to do it by yourself, whether you're burning the candle at both ends because you're trying to do too much, sometimes less is more. Whether it's you feel that nobody can do do it better than you, uh, that's a big one. Uh, I love it. There's people out there that I'm like, yeah, but nobody could do it better than me. Yeah, but if you want to scale and grow, the rule of thumb is if somebody can do it even at 70% as good as you can do it, it may be time to outsource that minutia, that thing, those tedious tasks, so you can focus on the things to help you grow. And that's something I wasn't even really going to get in today, but that's another thing I think. When people come to business, We're so controlling that we need to do everything, but in a way, we're holding ourselves back from getting to the next level because you're not willing to outsource and hire help for certain things. And I'll tell you, I did that early on in my Beachbody business. 
I was trying to do everything. I was trying to make gaff- graphics. I was trying to do recognition posts. I was trying to manage my CRM. I was trying to send out the email blast. Like, but my thing that I was greatest at was mentoring people. The thing that I was best at was coaching people. The thing that I was best at was motivating people. The thing I was best on was getting on calls, doing Zoom calls, making motivational videos. That nobody can do as well as me, but all the tedious tasks, it took a while to outsource. But you know what? I finally hired an assistant years ago who I still have today. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have achieved what I did. But it took a lot. It took a lot. So it's, I'm going to go into these points that, that we're going to talk about to help you grow faster. And, and the first point kind of goes right into me being stubborn and me being controlling and me wanting to do everything. So point number this is if you can write things down, <clears throat> that's great. Um, you can take notes. If you're listening in a car, maybe you can come back. But the first point is this, as I take a quick sip of water. The first point is this. You need to check your ego at the door. And you need to be coachable and teachable. What do I mean by that? You don't know it all. You do not know it all. It, life is about a journey. It's about a journey. It's not the destination. It's about what you can learn along the way. I still today am looking to learn new things every single day. Just yesterday, driving down to my niece's birthday party in uh, Long Island, New York, driving down, I was listening to a 30-minute training video on something to help that I can add to my keynote speech because I realize I don't know it all. And the whole point of success leaves clues You have to understand there's other people out there that are more successful than you, which goes into the second point, point, second part of point one, and that's you need to be coachable and teachable. What do I mean by that? You need to be willing to learn. You need to be willing to ask questions. You need to be willing to say, okay, I don't know it all. There are people out there that are better than me, that know more, and that will go for the rest of your life. That will go on for the rest of your life. Remember, it's you that are holding yourself back because you think you know it all and nobody can do it better than me and I need to do it. And you know what? I've been, I've been guilty of that, but I finally had to realize, listen, we have one mouth and two ears for a reason, right? We need to listen more and talk less. You need to listen more about people out there that are more successful than you because success leaves clues And you need to stop talking so much because you don't know it all. So point number one, check your ego at the door. Number two is you need to be coachable and teachable. And you need to ask yourself right now that question. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, are you trying to do it by yourself? Do you think you're better than everyone else? Do you think that there's nobody out there that knows more than you? If that's true, in any, if you said yes to any of those questions, it's a big problem and you need to fix it. And uh, you can start that change today. Point number two is this. Find someone that has what you want and do what they do. I'll say that again. Find somebody that has what you want and do what they do. What do I mean by that? Stop trying to model somebody or someone or something that has nothing to do with what you're trying to accomplish or... Maybe you're, do, you're not even doing that. What I'm teaching you here is find somebody that's successful in the business or the goal or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish and study them. Why Find them on YouTube. Listen to their podcast. You know, read their books. Study them. Again, success leaves clues. So study somebody. Find somebody that has the life or the things that you want to accomplish and do what they do. Not what you think you should do, do what they do. So find somebody that has what you want and do what they do. That's point number two. Point number three, I love this one. Do not take negative criticism from someone who hasn't done it before you. Oh, yes. You're going to get haters, you're going to get naysayers, and you're going to get critics from all angles as soon as you try to improve your life, no matter what it is. And it's that one negative comment on that social media post, or it's that one person that said what you're going to do is not going to work, or it's a bad idea, or it's that family member that's given you negative criticism for what you're doing. My friends, listen to me. You will never be criticized by someone that's more successful than you. 
say that again. You will never be criticized by someone for what you're doing who is more successful than you. And I can guarantee if the person that's more successful than you actually succeeded in the thing you are trying to aspire or reach, with certainty, they will never criticize you for what you're trying to do. You ever notice that? The people that criticize you, the negative people, the haters, critics, naysayers, they're not the ones that have accomplished what you're trying to do. They're the ones that just, it's, it's their insecurity. It's their life that they're not happy with. So they feel they need to put their opinions on you based on their own life experience. Let me give you an example. When I started my Beachbody business, it is a network marketing business. It is a multi-level marketing business. I have no shame in saying that because I built it to a million-dollar business. But you know how many people were like, oh, that's a pyramid scheme. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, so you're just making money off of that. All of those people never, ever succeeded in network marketing. They either started and realized, wow, this is really hard and quit. Or they know somebody that tried it and realized how hard it was. They quit. And instead of saying, yeah, I quit because it got hard, they say, I quit because it doesn't work because it's a scam right? But somebody that was more successful, when I used to reach out or connect with people that were making six figures at the time or becoming seven figure earners in network marketing, they never criticized what I was doing ever. Same when I wanted to be a keynote speaker. I had people, oh, you're crazy. You're going to retire from the state police. That's not a smart choice, David. You're in a really secure job. I don't really a keynote motivational speaker. What is it? Like, how do you even do that? But you know what? Those same people, they never did it before. Some of those same people are still doing and living the same way and are not happy with where they are. But the people that were successful in the field that I wanted, they supported me. So don't ever take negative criticism personal from someone that has never done it before you. Recognize that if somebody gives you constructive criticism from somebody that's accomplished what you're trying to accomplish, that's good. That's where you learn. So if there's somebody that achieved the thing that you want to achieve and they're giving you feedback, that's when you listen. If somebody never achieved what you wanted to achieve and they're criticizing you, I need you to put the blinders on. I need you to cover your ears. And I I like to say bless and release. Thank you so much for your opinion. And I release, I bless you. Good luck in your own life, but I'm moving on. Okay, that's point number three. Point number four is this. And this comes from one of the core values of the New York State Police. So you're going to learn a little bit of uh, inside information here, some history of the State Police, is continuous improvement in learning. What do I mean by that? Like I opened up with, it's a journey. It's going to be a constant journey of continuing to improve and learning every single day. Can I tell you just in the last 24 hours, let me think, there was one, two, three things Three new things I want to change up with my keynote presentation. Three that have come to me in the last 24 hours. Could I tell you 48 hours ago, they weren't even on my mind. I felt like, not that I was in a good place. I kept saying, all right, I'm in my keynote right now. I'm happy with what it is. I don't know what I'm going to do next to improve. I always have the antennas up of what I can do to get better. And three things came to me in the last 24 hours. Three, guys, three. Because I'm always on a mission. How can I get better? What tweaks can I make? What adjustments can I make? How can I improve? What person can I speak to? What questions can I ask? What thing can I invest in? What coach can I hire to help me? Which, what service can, can I maybe start using? What can I get rid of? What dead weight can I get rid of? What can I shorten? What can I take out? Why? Because I'm continually improving and willing to learn. So don't ever say, I'm good. Because when you say you're good and you get comfortable, there's somebody out there working harder than you and they're going to pass you, okay? So that's point number four. Point number five is this. I love this. Consistency over perfection. What do I mean by that? Stop trying to be perfect every single day. Stop thinking every day is going to be a great day. Stop thinking that every day you're not going to have any struggles. Stop thinking that every day things are going to be perfect. Stop thinking that more days than not, things actually should be going your way. If you're an entrepreneur or you're somebody that's trying to succeed at something, I'll tell you, 
More times than not, it's not going to go your way. But then all of a sudden you get that win and you're like, yes, and it keeps going. It's like the game of golf, right? You may hit 50 bad shots and then you hit one good shot and that one good shot's what keeps you going. Well, in life, when you're trying to achieve goals or being an entrepreneur or success, don't worry about the perfection. Just worry about being consistent every single day, and then you'll get that win. And the better you get at what you're doing, you'll get more wins frequently. That's what happens, right? Early on, just worry about showing up every day. Just worry about being consistent if you want to achieve success. Understand there's going to be setbacks and failures and trials and tribulations. That's part of the process. But then you'll get that win. Maybe every 10 times you have a setback, you get one win. Then maybe the next 10 times, maybe you get one win. But then the next time in 10 tries, you get two wins. And then maybe two wins turns to three wins because you get better at what you're doing. Why? Because you're consistent. So just focus on consistency. I always like to say principle over promise. What do I mean by that? Uh, no, principle over emotion. I said it wrong. Principles over emotions. Because And it is that principles are tried and true. If you're consistent in something, you will get there. You will improve. But emotions, if you go on our emotions, like I don't feel like showing up today. Well, you know what? You're not going to show up today. Because instead of living your life on principles, you're living them on emotions. And who wants to get up early every day? Who doesn't want to sleep more? Who doesn't want to you know, not have to be uncomfortable as you grow in the journey of life. Nobody, nobody, but you got to learn to go on principles over your emotions and principle of consistency and having discipline is something that, you know, will work out in the end. So consistency over perfection. And my last bonus point guys is this, and I think this is a big one. Consider investing in a coach, somebody that you can hire that can help you get there. I have invested in multiple coaches. And I can tell you right now, it it's different, different types of coaching. What do I mean by that? Right now, whatever it is, whatever goal that you have, if your life as a whole, let me, and what do I mean by that? Your, your health, you're not healthy and fit. Your energy is not good. You're stressed out all the time. You're burning the candle at both ends. Your home life is a little bit on a, is a little bit of a mess. You're arguing with your spouse, a significant other all the time, or things with your kids. And you're just like your, your daily everyday life is a mess, then you need a life coach. You need somebody that's going to help you get your mindset in a place to get you in a healthy place physically, mentally, so that you can perform your best in whatever goal you want to accomplish, okay? For me, and that's something like that I do with my clients, like there's entrepreneurs, there's business people that have business goals, big audacious business goals that say, great, let's start with how are you doing personally, right? Are you getting an exercise multiple days a week? And then I give accountability to them. Are you eating healthier foods? Because that is a fact. If you're feeling healthy and fit and you're eating healthier uh, foods, you're going to perform better. You're going to be less stressed. You're going to be more effective. You're going to be more innovative. You're going to be thinking clearer. You're going to manage your time more effectively. It starts with how you take care of yourself. And then from there, okay, what are your goals? How do we reverse engineer your goals? What do you need to do? What is your goal for the month? And to reach that goal for the month, what do you need to do each week? What do you need to do each day? And break down the days. And there's accountability. Why? Because as a life coach, when I help people, I help them fix their the entire bubble of everything around them. It's not just focused, right? Then I have people, let me talk about a business coach. There's people that I help that may say, David, I want to be a keynote speaker. How do I do that? How do I get started? Great. That's a different style of coaching. That's me coaching them of the things you need to do so that you could be a paid speaker. Now, let me tell you what I did. When I, when I in, you know, became part of Beachbody, one of the things with indirect sales is you have upline, you have coaches and mentors, and they helped me learn, get my life in order. They taught me personal development. I read a lot of books. A lot of my personal development, my life skills early on came from the books that I read from the authors, you know, whether it's, you know, John Maxwell that I loved or Darren Hardy or Brendan Bouchard, you know, you books can be the authors, you know, early on. That's what I did. But then what happened is, when I wanted to grow as a speaker, I hired a coach. What do I need to do? What does my website need to say? What does my keynote presentation look like? How do I get in touch with people? Well, how long does it have to be? How do I create a video? All of those things. That's a business coach, right? Then I would say six, seven months ago, I found another speaker that I connected to that is probably 
years ahead of where I want. His fee is where I want to head to be, right? What he charged where I want to head to be. And he had coaching, and I paid him a lot of money. Guys, when I say a lot of money, like the bigger the goal, the bigger the sacrifice. And I spent thousands and thousands of dollars for just a couple calls. That's it. Why? Because success leaves clues. And if you want to get somewhere faster, remember how I said find somebody that has what you want, do what they do? Well, if you can hire them to basically take a hold of you and say, do this, don't do that. Do this, do this, and this, change that. Do this, do this, do this. Remove that, tweak that, adjust that. I, I, I picked up some unbelievable nuggets with things by hiring a coach. So people that I helped are like, David, like, I've been stuck. I've been doing the same thing over and over again. I've been trying to figure it out. Like in 30 days, they could be a different person because I'm guiding them in the bubble of their as life coaching or somebody that I'm working with that wants to learn about speaking, something that may take them six, 12 months trying to figure it out themselves, which you can do. I'm able to dive in within a week and say, all right, here's a list of things that we're going to do. So my point is this, for you, whatever you are, whatever you're trying to accomplish after making sure you do all the things I just said, and I'll recap them in a second. If you can invest in a coach, do it. And don't look at it as that, listen, there's things you can spend money on, toys and vacations. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do that and enjoy that. But when you spend money on a vacation, when the vacation is over, it's a memory. That's it. And memories are important. We do vacations. I'm not taking away from that. But the thing with coaching is, yes, it could cost you some money, but it's actually something that will work for your future. It's actually something that probably will save you money because you're going to earn more quicker because by spending, say you spend $5,000, right? You spend $5,000, but within 60 days, you start earning thousands of dollars or more a month in a matter of three, four months. Not only did you make your money back, you're making more money. And the thing is so many people, like they have a penny mindset a penny mindset, like they, they're not thinking through the lens of if I invest in this, what is it going to do for me later on? I could tell you if I didn't invest the thousands of dollars in where I was as a speaker, I would not be where I am today. And I've made it back tenfold and I'm willing to spend the money sometimes, even though it could be a scary number because I can get to where I want to go quicker and I can learn from somebody that's done it before me. So guys, to recap of the main thing of success leaves clues, number one, you need to check your ego. Number two, find someone that has what you want and do what they do. Number three, don't take negative criticism from someone who hasn't done it before. Number four, continuous improvement and learning. I got that nugget from the New York State Police, but it's so applicable to life. Number five, consistency over perfection. And the bonus one is, guys, invest in a coach. Hire a coach. Maybe you have been listening to me for a long time. Maybe I can help you. You can reach out to me. I do life coaching. I do speaking coaching. I'd love to help you. But the point is this. If it's not me, just consider find somebody that maybe that you can work with, that you connect with, that can help you get to what you want faster because there's people out there that do it. And I firmly believe in this day and age and this, the ta- this modern world that we're in, with the businesses that people do, with the goals that they have, with the way that the landscape has changed in the world, that coaches can absolutely help you. So guys, that's my episode for the for you this week. I hope everybody had a great and amazing last week. Uh, please share these episodes. Please you know, share it with a friend. Help me spread the message because every day my goal is to help people live up to their fullest potential. And guys, you know, my newest created philosophy That could be my next book. I'll tell you, the wheels are turning. I have the leveled up life, but the wheels are turning. But my newly created philosophy that I've been speaking about on stage is one decision away. What does that mean? At any moment, you are one decision away from changing your mindset for the better. At at any moment, you are one decision away from taking this episode and applying it to your life today, not tomorrow. You could take the things I just shared with you today and apply them today. Why? Because we're always only one decision away from changing our life. And that's the philosophy I want people to live by, to start thinking, to stop beating themselves up because of the past and stop worrying about tomorrow and focus on today. You are one decision, one decision away from improving your life right now. So guys, that's it. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Personal Perseverance 
project. My goal every single day is to help people live up to their fullest potential. So please share this episode, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even leave a review. Be sure to connect and follow me on all my social media channels. And if you would like more information about me potentially being a keynote speaker at your event, or maybe you want to work with me one-on-one as your private coach, be sure to go to my website at davidakinspeaks.com for more information. Thank you.